Welcome, this is Jake with Genesis Rage, and this video will be going over how to set up and install an extension using NetBeans. I have NetBeans open here, so first we need to do is create a new project, and here we're going to choose Java and Java Class Library, and for the project name I'm going to name this My EXT Extension. Now SmartFox requires you to add the word extension to the end of whatever you want your extension to be called. So we'll hit finish now. Now that we have our project, we need to set some properties. Come down here to properties. And then depending on the version of NetBeans you have installed, you may have to change this to JDK 6, as that's what ships with SmartFox. We're going to come up to our libraries and over on the right side add jar slash folder and you'll find the required libraries in your SmartFox installation folder in the SFS2x folder and then lib folder there's a bunch of jar files here but the only ones we need is the SFS2x and the SFS2x dash core and we'll go ahead and open them and that's all the properties we need to set for now So now I'm going to create a new folder or file. And here we're going to choose Java and Java class. And this one I'm going to name zone extension. And if you notice here at the bottom, NetBeans gives us a warning not to use the default package. So you do want to give it some kind of package name just to avoid naming conflicts and to help keep your code organized. For this example, I'm just going to call it my ext package. Then hit finish. And to have a package or extension properly load, here we need to go extends sfs extension. Yep. And we need to override. a public void of init. So I'll set that up. Now this extension won't actually do anything, it's just for the setup and the install. So I'm just going to leave it here, and I'm going to create a couple more classes here to show off some features of the admin tool. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when I have those created. Okay, so I've created two more classes. I made, we have the zone extension we made already room extension, and yet another class. So with these all in place, we're ready to build. Let's come up here, click the build button, and it finished building my ext extension. Now to install the extension, we're going to come into our SmartFox installation folder, go into SFS2x extensions, and here we're going to need to create a new folder called my ext, it's the name of the extension, minus the word extension at the end of it. So we'll open that up. And our NetBeans project folder right here, open that up. In the dist folder, there's a jar file. I'm just going to drag that over, copy, and now we're ready to start the SmartFox server. Now that's ready. I'm going to come back into or go over into the admin tool. Type in the default password. And over on the left side here, I'm going to choose Zone Configurator. I'm going to select the zone. And under the Zone Extension tab, this very first name drop down box will have all your extension names. You see here how it has my ext. I'm going to select that. It is a Java type. And the reason why I created a couple different classes to show off a feature here for this main class drop down box. If you click it now, it shows the room extension, yet another class, and the zone extension. Well, right below, there's this use naming convention toggle. When you turn that on and drop this down, it will only show classes that actually end in the word extension. So this is a really nice, useful feature when you have a lot of classes and you want to 
limit what's shown in here so you can actually choose which one is supposed to be the zone extension main class. So that will wrap up this video and thanks for watching.